Adarash requires a certain way of installing. If you own previous versions of the program, you should install the volumes in order from 1 to 12. In this tutorial, I will install Adarash 12, followed by the service update for 64-bit, which includes the plugin for ADS7. Once you have downloaded the plugin from the ProDets website, go to the folder to which you have downloaded the application. Double-click the installer app, in this case, Adarash 12. Click Next and read the license agreement and accept it if you agree. Input your serial number. Click Next. You will notice that your previous version of Adorage will go into the x86 folder SDR 32-bit applications. Click Next and start the installation procedure. After Adorash is installed, go back to your download folder and start the installation of the 64-bit service update for ADS7. This time you will notice that it will go to the 64-bit portion of Windows and the plugin for ADS7 will be selected. The application will be installed on your system and the plugin to the ADS plugin directory. Now it's time to launch ADS7. In the effects palette, you will now see two ProDet folders, one under video filters and one under transitions. The Adorage filter does not support the expanded alpha in ADS. This means that the alpha will not be carried over when sequencing or when exporting to the HQX codec with alpha. The plugin also does not support 10-bit. You should consider this if you work with 10-bit assets in a 10-bit project. This is the same for the transitions. Let's have a look at the transitions. I will show a transition in AB mode. First, I'll drop a clip on V1, my bird video. This is A. Then I drop another clip on V2, the flowers. This is B. When you have the clip stacked like this, you need to apply the transition to the mixer track. Let me expand the tracks so you can see it better. I have applied the transition to the mixer track, but nothing is happening yet when I scroll. This is normal as you have to make your selection in the Adorize application. Click on the Adorash transition in the information palette. You can select any of the transitions. Different transitions will be available depending on the Adorash packages you have installed. I will choose one clearly from volume 12. I will go for USA White House and from those available, I choose WaySign. You will see the WaySign with the White House as a transition object between clip A the bird, to clip B, the flowers. Depending on your system and footage format, this effect may or may not play in real time. I am in a full HD project with P2 10-bit material. I do get feedback when I scrub, so I can have a good idea of what the effect will look like. The machine I'm on cannot play back this effect in real time, so I have to render. I select the transition area by putting an in and an out point. I will use the Shift Q render. After the rendering is complete, you can watch the effect playback smoothly. But I can imagine that you will not want to use the White House in every video. No worries, Adorage has you covered. In the mixer panel, you are able to load your own graphics. I load my graphic, this is cool PNG. As you can see, the White House is replaced by this is cool. But if that's not cool enough, you can load any HQ or HQX movie on your PC.
I'll go for a Rufus Scraphog. As you can see, you can be very creative. Everything I showed in Adorage in AB mode can be done when having the clips on a single track. So when you do single track editing, you can use Adorage transitions. Just remember that a clip to the left of the transition will be A and a clip to the right of the transition will be B. You can apply the transition by dragging it between the clips. After that, click on the transition in the effects palette. The Adorage GUI will open and then you can choose the transition to your liking. At the beginning of this tutorial, I showed that there are also Adorage filters. I will apply a filter to the flower clip. You can apply a filter to a video clip in three ways. First, with the clip selected, drag the filter to the information palette. Second, select the filter, right click and select Add to Timeline. The third option is dragging the filter from the effects palette to the clip on the timeline. In this example, I will use a picture in picture with an interesting border. As with the transitions, you can adjust it and have your own graphics displayed. In this example, I'll change the overlay. First, I'll choose the This is Cool graphic. You can also use your HQ and HQX files. Let me put the Craphawk as an overlay. This looks pretty interesting with that border. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching.